Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for coming back. How you are doing? As for me, I'm fine, you can see. <laughs> if you're coming by my channel for the first time, you're welcome as well. And have you subscribed? I guess no. So go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. So how is everyone doing? Um, a quick question fam. Have you ever thought of a three-in-one solution to some of our most pressing problems on the continent in the area of electricity, clean safe water and healthy lifestyle three in one have you i bet you haven't but someone has take a look in his dining room stands johnny multipurpose function mpf a versatile machine which can pump water generate electricity and also be used as a gym equipment the machine has pedals that resemble those of bicycles fitted through prime movers prime mover you would call it like an engine which gets going now once you begin to roll this, then it will, by the use of our chain, it will begin to do what? To roll this wheel here. Our wheel here is quite a heavy one. It weighs more than 38 kgs. The prime movers are connected to a pulley, which rotates the alternator that generates power. It has got the ability to produce ranging from 1,000 even up to 5,000 watts. Of power output that is how big it is so like I said the choice is uh, the choice is yours the power is stored in the power box which has batteries and an inverter helps convert the generated power into alternating current according to the revs of the output it is equivalent to that one of a car engine pedaling for just two minutes can generate power that can run a TV set for two and a half hours plus 20 bulbs, each one of them 20 watts, and which translates into 400 watts. And doing all this is as easy as just water flowing under the bridge. After three minutes of pedaling, we switched off the electricity supply from Umeme from the main switch. The current from the Johnny Malt Purpose Function machine was later connected powering all the lights and the TV. You can be able to do ironing, you can do your blending, and all that kind of stuff. The machine also pumps water, and it's ideal for irrigation. A belt is connected to a water pump which sucks water from a source and pumps it to about 30 meters. After it has been sucked by the pump as it comes here, then this is the discharge pipe, which will be discharging now to be used for the irrigation. So the farmer will be able to do what? To do his irrigation, and then the crops will do what? Will continue in a very lively manner. Unlike the power generator compartment, pumping water needs continuous pedaling. As Chibuka has electronic engineering knowledge about what inspired him to come up with such technology. We would have power cuts. As you are there trying to watch the news, then the power goes. As you're thinking of doing the ironing, the power goes. And then you end up being frustrated, you see. So it is through such a scenario, other than castigating, I said that, can't I find something out of this? It took him about three weeks to put together an idea he conceived in 2004. He, however, faces some challenges. You find that there are some adjustments which you'll have to do, which you'll have to make. And whatever you do, it means doing what? putting a hand in the pocket. I will make an appeal to the government if there can be uh, a kind of support or incentive which can be put in place with such kind of innovations. The machine costs 3.5 million shillings without the batteries, yet it is one of the cleanest reliable energy sources. So this local solution here, I love it so much because personally, I feel like this is a solution that should be scaled up to every part of the continent because the problems that this solution is addressing um, are not peculiar to Uganda or Ugandans alone. It's a problem that we face all across the continent. So personally, I feel like our governments should invest in solutions like this to scale them up to other parts of the continent. I mean, this solution addresses the challenge of electricity. So with this solution here, you can generate your own electricity power to meet your daily needs, those basic daily needs that you require electricity power supply to address. 
at low cost. You are saving um, some money that you would have paid um, utility bills to address other family needs. How cool is that? I like this solution because as a girl who grew up in, in a background where I had to go sometimes in search of water, I understand just how challenging it usually gets when you have to wake up in the morning to go search for water before going to school. It's usually draining. By the time you do all of these demanding chores in the morning and you get to school, you are most times just tired and you know, learning becomes an uphill task. But I guarantee you the girls in this household will not have to face those challenges in the morning. Everybody wakes up in the morning. You know, you have your bath, do some of the, yeah, the necessary chores in the house and then you get to school still very much alert and active enough to engage in learning. And this, this will also improve academic performance. I don't know how you see this. What do you think? Drop a comment. And apart from that, this solution also addresses the challenge of irrigation, just like you heard in say. So farmers can actually deploy this solution to, you know, address the challenge that they face seasonal when with seasonal you know change in weather when there is no rainfall they can deploy this solution to irrigate so we have agricultural yields all year round there'll be no short, um, shortage of food in communities no no farming and all of that so i like this solution what do you think guys i think it's something that should be scaled up really and it will do everyone a lot of good. And like every other innovation, innovations are not always perfect, but there's always room for improvement. And you heard him say it himself as well. So there's always room for improvement. Opportunity to invest, you know, invest in this solution, do some of the tweaking that you need to do, the improvements every here and there, and then it becomes a masterpiece that everyone can use without any um, challenges. And the most interesting aspect of it is the fact that you get all of this solution while, you know, exercising. So you are exercising on this bike. And at the same time, you are generating uh, power to be converted to electricity. You are generating power to pump water. And, you know, this is just so cool. People will no longer have to complain about, oh, I don't have money to go and register in the gym to work out. Come and sit here. Work out here while you also, you know, provide solutions to these other challenges that we face. I like this personally. Honestly, I like it. <laughs> so for all those feed farms, this would be a perfect solution for you. While you work out at home, you are you know solving these other problems as well so i like this thank you so much so what do you think about this innovation farm drop a comment and most importantly share this video i mean this is an innovation that requires all the attention it can get you never know who the investor might be so share it wide okay thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it so you get notified each time i upload a new video Take care, stay safe, healthy, and be law abiding. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.